teachers of Reddit, what has one of your students done, that convinced you they were a villain in the making? Grade 2. Very manipulative. Threats to other children. The district psychologist comes in to observe. I tell the class that Mr. So-and-so wants to hang out with us for a period to see the cool things we're learning about. The student in question shows model behavior all class. As soon as Mr. So-and-so leaves, said student winks at me and says, How'd I do? Yikes. He loved making girls uncomfortable. He would get such a thrill out of it. He loved putting them in a position where they wanted to move away from him, but they couldn't, sitting on their desk, backing them into a corner, etc., but the thing is is that he was so fucking charming. He was lovely. He would say hello and goodbye to me and just smile. His smile was so unnerving. He came very close to putting a pencil in a girl's eye once, and was suspended for three weeks because of it. He said he wanted to see what would happen, and just smiled the entire time he was in the office with the headmaster. At his old school, he'd had a few occurrences of animal abuse. Okay, that guy is straight up creepy. Yeah this description is just making me think future rapist. Broke into his neighbor's yard, stole his pet ferret, killed it, skinned it, pinned it to the door of the neighbor's house. More than once. Edit, the ferret was replaced and he did it again. It was suspected he was killing other animals too at the time. Edit because this exploded, the student was 12-13 at the time. He remained with us for less than a year after this before being removed from education. In his last year he was only taught in very small groups by large male teachers. He was suspected of burning down an abandoned pub but the police could not prove it. His family moved out of the region, common tactic to get social services off your back. Female science teacher here. I was about two weeks into my first job. Another student dropped a pen by accident, I picked it up. Straightened to find one of the biggest boys in the class, about 14 years old, standing right next to me. He got even closer and said good girl. I was kind of shocked, so just said excuse me? And he replied with the creepiest ever top to toe survey of my body, a leer and then asked would you rather be a bad girl? My whole body just recoiled. He was later permanently excluded for sexually coercing another student. Pretty sure he's in jail for sexual offenses now. My mom told me about one she ran across when she was teaching. He was five and in kindergarten. She watched him at recess walk over to another boy and punch another kid in the face. With no emotion on his face. No feelings. When she found out who the kid was, turns out his grandfather went to prison for murdering a lot of prostitutes. I found out that a year or so ago he molested a cousin of his and didn't see anything wrong with it. I think he will be like his grandfather, murders a bunch of prostitutes, greater than goes to prison, greater than dies in prison, greater than, greater than reborn into grandson's body. Now teacher. Then high school student. My senior year had a kid in our aquatic science class took a fish out of an aquarium, teacher had stepped out of room, using scissors cut off its fins, it was one of those really fancy goldfish, and set it on the counter and watched it die. Same kid threatened to rape the teacher and had been caught on camera pouring flour into a tank. Damn, those soldiers must have been pissed, having flour dumped on their heads. He was mad at me because I made him redo a math test so he walked over to the classroom door. When I told him I would need to call the office if he left the room without permission he proceeded to slam his own leg in the door about five times, then he looked at me and said, now my leg hurts and I'm going to tell everyone it was your fault. That's when I realized I may be in over my head with this class. A student told us this story, and he's just awful enough that I believe it. So when he was a kid, he fell at a pool and his mom was able to sue. He then blackmailed his mom by telling her that if she didn't give him some of the money then he would tell everyone that he didn't really fall and that his mom made him lie to the court. I do not even want to know where his psycho self is going in life. I know right, suing the fucking pool management because your kid fell at their pool. 
I was handing out coloring worksheets to third graders in after school program. A fat eight year old boy grabbed the sheet, crumpled it up, and threw it at my face. He said, I ain't learning this shit. I didn't care to follow up on his progress. Former teacher here. We had a student give other students advice on how to sexually abuse small children in graphic detail. He was soon expelled and reported to authorities. Soon after we learned that he had been arrested for posing to be injured on a road, late at night, and when someone stopped to check on him, he shot and killed him. One of the biggest things kids do that's a red flag is, nothing. I had a student this year who would show no reaction to anything. He would get in trouble and just not care. Didn't matter if he was being reprimanded by me, the principal, or his dad he'd just smirk at you. I've never been more pissed off by a five-year-old. One of my husband's old students said, Mr. I can't wait till you die so I can go to your funeral. I had another student, third grade, who would block doorways and make keysy faces at girls who were trying to get by. He would go into fits of rage and throw things, try to harm himself. He pulled his pants down in class once while my back was turned. He would deny all of this to his mother, of course. The only thing this kid ever showed passion for was war. Actually, war was the only thing he even liked. He was a smart kid, played soccer and climbed. But he was practically in love with war and violence. Nine years old and wasn't afraid to fight anyone, nor of the consequences once he kicked the shit out of them, happened often enough. He was above and beyond just war games and toy guns, he studied weapons and tactics, all he would check out in the library was war history. He just wanted to join the army and fight. He's joined now. I know his parents are surprised and disappointed. I wouldn't be surprised if he dies, gets a dishonorable discharge or commits some war crime, or he'll be the next great general because of all of his time he spent researching. Or he'll commit crimes. One or the other. On his first day at our school, middle of the year transfer, he picked out who was essentially our alpha male 8th grader and proceeded to try to kick the living bejesus out of him. For no reason. When he came back to school, I caught him trying to stab my classroom pet rabbit. Multiple times. Needless to say, he only lasted a couple of weeks before he was permanently expelled because of his violent tendencies. Not a teacher but I knew a sociopath who was convicted of murder. He lived with his grandmother, and at 14 years old he would say disgusting things about to her, and do shit like spray shaving cream on her and push her around. He kicked his cat around, and went to juvie for severely beating his younger sister when he was in 7th grade. He was fearless and totally devoid of any real emotion. Even as young teenagers, we knew this kid was a sociopath, and we had never even heard of sociopaths. I think scissors should be banned at schools because of these two experiences I had at two different schools and with different students as well. Event 1, I am explaining some grammar and from the corner of my eye I see a 12 year old boy grab a pair of scissors from his pencil case, I tell him to put it away as he doesn't need it and said kid looks me right in the eye and proceeds to stab the pair of scissors in the leg of the girl who is sitting next to him. No twitch, no guilt, just trying to claim it was an accident. He was suspended for about a week. Second event, teaching year 10. Students are working in groups of three and I am walking around the room helping some of them who are having trouble. When I hear a shriek behind me and this dude is triumphantly holding the braid of the girl sitting in front of him up in the air with a satisfied smirk on his face while the girl is crying. I am so happy I am no longer a teacher. Had a student last year who came up to me and said, with this creepy twinkle in his eyes, Mr. Bretsky 91, you know what my favorite song is? I asked him what it was and he started singing Oh the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it kill, let it kill, let it kill. Then he started laughing maniacally. Left me with a seriously uneasy feeling. Thank God he's grown less creepy since then. Little kids gotta be edgy too. I'd say the weirdest part is he was able to find out your Reddit username. 
not a teacher but a guy who used to go to my school murdered someone so I guess that was a pretty big red flag. Not a teacher but I knew back in like, middle school that the kid had problems. Claimed he was a wizard, on more than one occasion. Threw a stool at another kid because the kid laughed at him saying he's a wizard. Verbally and physically threatened other people pretty much every day. It was a rumor but I had heard from a friend of his sister that he had strangled a bunch of their pets. Then when he was in high school he only made it into freshman year until he was homeschooled slash sent to another school. Not really sure on that one. Harry Potter alternate timeline. If you were emotionally abused from infancy to 11 and forced to sleep in a cupboard, it actually seems a more likely scenario. But I guess Harry Potter and the reactive attachment disorder would be a bleak book. Harry Potter and the Sad Face Baby Times is the US title. Jesus, some of these are horrific. The worst thing I did was buy all the ice pops from the store outside school and sold them at break time for twice the price skeptical. I was a reading tutor. Had a first grade student we will call him our start of the year I'm having kids draw pictures to decorate the walls while I give them basic assessments. First kid draws a giraffe, next one draws a heart with a smiley face. Then I comes to show me his work. Miss Jixxi Jixxi look look. This is a clown and that's the school. The clown has a lighter and he's going to burn the school because he's mad. That was the first of many trips to the counselor for our turns out his favorite movie was Saw. Terrifying child with crazy parents. Then there was M. He was in kindergarten. This kid was Ted Bundy is the making. He couldn't sit with the other kids, or have scissors, or go anywhere without an adult. He would say things like, did you change your hair it looks wonderful to the staff before stabbing another kid with a pencil, or cutting another student's clothing, before scissor privileges were lost. Student accused me of hitting him in front of the entire classroom. Entire classroom denied it happened yet principal still tried to push it forward. I was trying to get principal's bonus money to be used for science books and computers. Same year, same grade, student told other students we were together, she was a sixth grader. This rumor never made it anywhere as the poor child had been abused by her father and lived with her alcoholic grandma. Other students told me about this. I made the news twice that year for being an exemplary teacher, which, I was, emo. That was my fourth year of teaching. Rough year. Principal resigned that year. He didn't have a college degree and was a car salesman before being principal, he got the job because the prior principal was arrested for stealing money from the school. This is why I don't like charter schools. No accountability. Okay, we had this one weird kid in grade school who would always do stupid shit and was really into death, said he wanted to torture people and stuff, and this kid was quite spoiled to dot so one day he got a compound bow from his parents and shot the neighbor cat with it. Shit's fucked up man. Not a teacher, but when I was a childcare worker over the summer one year at uni, this little bastard two-year-old would go around pushing the other kids, also two, and unsteady on their feet, knocking them down so we would be left to comfort a string of sobbing two-year-olds while this little shit went on his merry destructive way. Bet he went on to hurt kids all through school. Little bastard. Covered the whole toilet, seat, bowl, everything, in shit and came back to class with his hands still covered in poo. That was in a private tutoring school and all 10 students shared a bathroom. He was 16. I had a student in 5th grade who was creepy and absent of emotion. He got in trouble for a number of things but the one that really stands out is that he harassed a girl with dick pics. He was kicked out of the school a couple of years later for something unrelated but I've heard he attempted to steal a car and may have been responsible for arson. Definitely one of those kids who I may see in the news when he's 18 and his name can legally be printed. Not my student but a kid from my sister-in-law's class. He is in elementary but the teachers checked him every day for things that can be used as weapons. Due to good behavior for a while they stopped checking him. 
So he brought a makeshift knuckle made with steel wires with the wires joined together to double as a stabbing device. So the checking continued. He then stabbed his classmate on the cheeks with a sharpened pencil. The kid always kept to himself in class and any kind of contact like accidental touching by his classmates will trigger him into a rage. This is probably because his dad beats him at home and he said his mom is always on the phone. Not a teacher but I remember one kid I went to preschool with who got suspended from every single preschool in town because he had so many anger issues. This continued through elementary school until they stuck him in an alternative school and I lost track of him. Later saw his mug shot or whatever it is called on a site showing prisoners which shocked me not in the least. Given how bad the schools I attended were I would not be surprised if 15 to 20 percent of them have a criminal record by now. Buried a cat up to its head that took a running kick at it. Killed ducklings and posted them through people's doors. The there's the other kid who kicked a chicken for looking at him when we were on a trip to a farm. Till that I don't want to be a teacher. Students were dissecting cats in anatomy class. One student decides to unnecessarily and aggressively cut out the cat's tongue just to show he could, then proceeds to bash the cat's skull with his scissors. Needless to say that was the last day of dissection for him. Had an extremely creepy male student use an app to look up extremely personal information about me, my parents address, my former schools, etc. The school had a 1-1 iPad program at the time, and this was before all security measures were in place. I told the deans and admin, but of course was ordered to better manage my students, because clearly that shows a lack of my ability to control them properly, oh slash. This same student later transferred from a second class I was teaching, I was teaching multiple subjects, came in during another class I was teaching and had a meltdown so badly I had to call security on him, etc etc etc. That's one of my reasons why I left teaching, students who don't know or refuse to learn basic boundaries and administrative teams who blame the teacher. I used to teach two year olds at a daycare and there were three little baby wrens hopping around the playground and so another teacher and I pointed them out to the kids. The kids were all smiling and laughing, they loved them. Then one of the kids from my class, who was a little shit, got this big grin on his face and stomped on one until it was dead. It was horrifying. I scooped up the other baby birds and put them outside the gate, needless to say. I'm sure this won't be seen at this point, but it's too funny I've got to share. There is a boy in my class who walks around randomly laughing manically. When he gets angry he puts his hands up to make bear claws and calls himself a monster. When he started in my class he would growl at the other children just to get a reaction. He's also three. I have been working on teaching him how to transform into a boy when he is upset. Now he gives the cutest hugs. But he still walks up to me randomly and says, aha. So who knows? He could take over the county. Lied to me about not finishing a project by saying her mother had terminal cancer. My dad died of cancer when I was her age. Falling over myself to accommodate the situation, I felt terrible in so many ways later on. Had a girl who reached in her pants, pulled out her maxi pad and smushed it in another girl's face. Lit a girl's hair on fire mid-lesson just to see what would happen. Thankfully it was noticed quickly and the girl was fine in the end. Teacher here. We get evaluations of difficult kids that we are going to be teaching the next year so we have time to familiarize ourselves with their IEPs, individual education plans. I got one this week that just said high pain tolerance and little concept of danger. I shit ye not. Looks like I'm teaching the Terminator in September. Not a teacher, but was told of a group of boys stopping a girl with some form of muscle dystrophy from getting off the ground after they made her fall. This was one of many things, done at age 14. The main boy went on to recently murder someone, and another just got his ankle tag off. All aged 18. When I taught preschool years ago, there was one little girl who I thought needed to be on medication. She was terrible. 
One day, she was at the top of the slide, and there was another little girl sitting down to go down the slide. I caught that little shit sigh and watched her pull her knee up. I knew she was going to kick her and as we have eyes locked, I start to say do not kick her, she did a this is Sparta kick and shoved the little girl off the top of the slide. I was livid and she just stood there and laughed as the other girl was in hysterics from being thrown through the air. The little girl who was kicked was the owner's niece and that nasty little girl was expelled 30 minutes later. I have seen her around town over the years. She's been expelled from two public schools and both of the private schools in town. She truly is a psychopath and I've known hundreds of kids. She's the only one I ever thought could actually kill someone at five years old. Well not a teacher but a friend of mine is trying to get his mum to behave by saying stuff like oh I thought you wanted to go to my graduation ceremony, guess I'm going to have to return those tickets whenever she starts talking about things he doesn't want to talk about, this just makes your friend a cunt. I came here expecting cute, mischievous doofenshmirtz type villains, but all I see is a bunch of little Hannibal Lecters running around. When he was in third grade he drew and colored a picture of killing his teacher. I had him as a high schooler. Old student of mine was very good at plausible deniability and lawyer speak. When I would confront him about his attitude in class he would say things like I am sorry that my facial expression, body language made you feel that way. Acknowledging the details, but not the intention, the thing we actually care about. Kid is definitely lying and has had issues documented from every teacher he has had. Super difficult person to get to know and to work with. Not a teacher. Went to school with this kid. I was at the dentist office and he and his mother were there as well. We, my mom and I, had just arrived and they were just coming out and mom stops to pay the bill. We were both in middle school and I really had no interaction with him, mostly because I thought him weird. Anyway, it's very early summer and receptionist asks the boy something akin to how he's been spending his time during the nice weather. Mom chimes in before kid can answer and says, oh, tell her about the rabbits. Kid starts matter-of-factly describing this next of baby rabbits he's found and how he used a pair of vice grips to slowly crush their heads and kill them, think adjust them just enough to fit their little heads and then slowly turn the screw. Mom's all smiles while receptionist, and everyone else within earshot, is utterly dumbfounded. Pretty sure serial killer ran in the family. I call bullshit because the alternative is living in a world where this kind of thing happens. I when worked in Haiti a boy of about 13 or 14 got a large group of often girls together and was having them turn tricks for American money. TL Dr. Young Teenage Boy sells adolescent children to adults until he meets someone with morals who pushed his teeth in and put the girls into a refuge camp. Your TL Doctor is longer than the original. Found my house on Google Street View by going behind my desk and looking at my kids' little league pictures to determine what town I lived in, then opening his computer screen to a picture of my house when I walked behind him while teaching. After that, he went to the library, printed out pictures of my house and passed them out to other teachers saying, do you know whose house this is? When questioned, he said he wouldn't try to come into my house or anything, but he might like to drive by. That's comforting. He basically got off on making girls and women feel uncomfortable. Sat down at a table of 7th grade girls at lunch and announced that he loved pussy. Stared at a girl during math class until she asked him what he needed, at which point he announced that she had beautiful skin. Wrote a Google Doc that he shared with all of his teachers telling us to go have sex instead of assigning homework. It was a daily surprise with him. I teach a special class for delinquents. In this class is the sweetest little grade 3 boy. This boy can't go anywhere without his stuffed animal that hangs around his shoulders. He regularly sits nicely with his legs crossed while doing math for fun. When the other kids are getting wild, he's the one child that will stay quiet and keep working on his art project. I couldn't figure out why he was in this special ed class, until I took his computer away for swearing, he folds his hands, places them on the table, 
turns and looks at me with a completely blank expression, and then calmly begins telling me about how he's going to tie me up in the bathtub and cut my stomach open so I drown in my own blood, just like it was another day at the office. 27 year teacher here, in the USA. Actually, we teachers are our own worst enemies here. We are taught by teaching culture that all kids are savable. Because of this, we are not allowed to make negative comments about the truly dangerous kids. All of the research shows that much of our personalities are set at a very early age. And that most dangerous kids can be identified at an pretty early age. Ask a long time second grade teacher about the kids she has had in class. These early teachers can pick out the kids that will end up in jail or become violent offenders. Rapists and murderers don't just wake up one day and become dangerous. I currently teach 7th grade and I can pick out the kids that already show dangerous tendencies. Kids who lie immediately when you catch them in the act, every time. Kids who refuse to accept responsibility for their actions. Kids who have no filter before their word or actions. Kids who live by these tendencies in middle school tend to keep them into adulthood. Sociopaths slash psychopaths make up about 3% of the population and are not fixable. I really wish more of these stories ended with so we got them the help they needed. I'm not a teacher but while in high school we had a kid who in school suspension. Basically you were in a classroom with no windows a teacher would watch over you while you did your school work. We had a young pregnant Spanish teacher one day and this guy flipped out jumped up on the teacher's desk pulled his dick out and started screaming at her to suck it while trying to force her to do it. It took several guys to pull him off. He was expelled and later raped a couple of 12 year old girls. Liked what you saw? Hit like, subscribe and the bell icon for more crazy reddit content.